welcome back students this is ICSC board class 10 biology we are with chapter 8 uh, circulatory system and we are going to solve questions from the chapter that is textual questions and we are going to work out their solutions this is episode question bank 8.1 or solution 8.1 and we are with the first question that is multiple choice questions lymph has so four options are given rbc red color only wbc's more protein and calcium than blood the answer is only wbc's the blood cells which helps in blood clotting is so four options are given rbc wbc platelet and plasma so which uh, cell is helping in blood clotting it is platelet so option is c the mineral ion needed for the formation of blood clot options are given as potassium sodium calcium and iron the answer is calcium option c tricuspid valve is present between the options are given right atrium and ventricle the two atria the two ventricles left atrium and ventricle the answer is between right auricle and ventricle so option a the heart sound love is produced due to and your options are entry of blood in the arteries contraction of heart muscles closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valves and closure of pulmonary valves and the answer is option c that is closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valves they are also known as av valves let us move on to very short question on uh, very short on answer questions naming chemical found in the blood which acts against antigen answer is antibody the phase of cardiac cycle in which the auricles contract that is auricular system wbc squeezes through the walls of capillaries into the tissue that is diapedesis mineral element essential for the clotting of blood that is calcium the fluid portion of the blood that is plasma a foreign body that induces the formation of antibodies in the body that is antigen the protective covering of the heart that is pericardium the sound produced when the arterioventicular valve is closed in the heart that is love the veins which drain the blood from the intestine to the liver is hepatic portal vein blood vessels carrying blood to the left auricle that is pulmonary vein circulation of blood from the right ventricle to the lungs then back to the left atrium that is pulmonary circulation and cellular component of the blood containing hemoglobin are rbc so these are the type of questions or sample questions that are likely to be asked in board examination uh, so you should be thorough with your content so they can ask questions from anywhere you are able to write the answers so let us move on to the next question question number two given below is an example of a certain structure and special functional act functional activity with which it is associated for example white blood cell function is phagocytosis so according to the examples we have to solve the questions which have been given under so rbc what is the function of rbc helps in the transportation of respiratory gases bicuspid valve helps uh, in preventing the backflow of blood from lv to la platelets helps in coagulation of blood pulmonary veins carries oxygenated blood from lungs to left auricle of the heart pericardium provides protection to the heart bone marrow helps in the formation of blood cells that is wbc rbc's and platelets question number three that is fill in the blanks the valve which prevents the backflow of blood in the veins that is semilunar valve the blood vessel that begins and ends in capillary is hepatic portal vein the person with ab blood group is called universal recipient and fourth one the blood vessels which have small lumen and thick wall is called artery so that is a blood vessel with a small lumen but the thick wall is very thick that is artery match the following blood without corpus is that is called plasma muscles in the heart they are known as cardiac muscles angle process of engulfing bacteria that is phagocytosis fibrin these are the microscopic threads basophils they are stained with the basic dyes lymphocytes they produces antibodies c short answer questions so we have to define plasma so what is plasma the fluid portion of the blood which is pale yellow color alkaline liquid forming 55 percent of the total blood volume is called plasma pulse the rhythmic contraction of the heart is felt in a certain areas of the body like wrist is in a form of pulses and is called pulse endothelium it is a tissue which forms a single layer of cells lining various organs and cavities of the body especially blood vessels are known as endothelium 
like for example capillaries lymph nodes a small bean shaped structure that is a part of the body's immune system lymph nodes filter substances that travel through the lymphatic fluid and they contain lymphocytes that are white blood cells and help to fight against infection and diseases state the functions of the following function of blood what is the function of blood to transport digested food enzymes hormones and respiratory gases coronary artery function is to supply oxygenated blood to the heart walls thrombocytes they help in blood coagulation during injury lymphocytes they produces antibody that fight against fight against antigens and helps in immunity quadrate and in they anchor with av valves that is tricuspid and bicuspid valves and they check whether the valves are closed properly or not in order to prevent the backflow of blood in the ventricles then neutrophils neutrophils helps in the process of uh, phagocytosis and helps in defense mechanism so likewise there are many other uh, parts are there which are are related to their functions but this is only from the textbook so we have mentioned only six of them let us move on to the next question list the difference between art arteries and veins arteries the middle layer of or middle layer is tunica media and it is thick and lumen is narrow veins middle layer is tunica media is thin and lumen is broad erythrocytes helps in the exchange of respiratory gases leukocytes helps in the defense mechanism Tricuspid valve which has two flap valve and it is located between left auricle and left ventricle. Tricuspid valve it is uh, having three flaps and it is located between right auricle and right ventricle. RBC shape concave shape by concave shape and WBC shape is amoeboid or you can say irregular shape. Lob and dub lob is the first sound that is produced due to the closure of A valves and dub is the first sound second sound produced by the closure of semi lunar valves. Hope you understood these differences between arteries, veins, erythrocytes, and leukocytes, bicuspid and tricuspid, WBCs and RBCs, and love and love. Let us go on to the question number four. When does the heart produces the sound love and love? It is the second. This question is asked second or third time. It is heard due to the closure of AV valves, and dub sound is heard due to the closure of semilunar valves. State the importance of hepatic portal system. What is the importance of hepatic portal system? Number one. Excess amount of glucose is removed and it is converted to glycogen, and it helps in the removal of dead microorganisms (RBCs) and dead cells, as well as it helps in the removal of toxic substances including nitrogenous waste. This is taking place in the liver. Long question answers. Uh, what is blood clot? Describe briefly about three stages of blood clotting: heartbeat and cardiac cycle. What are the two types of circulation of blood present in our body? List the difference between blood and lymph. All these questions we have studied in the in in the content in the in the chapter. So please uh, refer the video, or because these are the very uh, long question answers. I don't want to write. I already mentioned them in the video. So please uh, see the video related to this question. And if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for this one. Let us move on to the give reasons. Number one, give reason number one. it must it is must to know the blood group of both the donor and recipient before transfusing the blood the rbc is a different blood group has surface proteins which is considered to be antigen if given to to the incompatible blood group it provokes the formation of antibody which initiates the clumping or agglutination of the blood cells in the blood vessels causing a clot causing a clot and leading to death so in order to prevent such clotting of blood it is necessary to know the blood group of the both donor as well as recipient the mature Mammalian erythrocytes lack nucleus and mitochondria. The mature mammalian erythrocytes lack nucleus because it has to do the function of carrying respiratory gases. It, if mature RBC contains nucleus, then the space for the hemoglobin would be would reduce and will carry less gases, reducing the capacity of RBC for carrying oxygen. And and mitochondria is absent in order to prevent respiration. So these are the two important functions of uh, RBC to prevent respiration and to carry respiratory gases. to the cell blood flows in the arteries under pressure arteries are connected to the main supplying branch of the heart and that is aorta aorta is arising from the left ventricle and this is the only chamber of the heart that pumps the blood with a great pressure as it has to supply oxygenated blood to the various part of the body through aorta so aorta is under pressure and so the arteries are under pressure the left ventricle of the heart has thicker wall than the right ventricle left ventricle is the main chamber of the heart as it pumps the blood out of the heart 
as it has supply oxygenated blood to the various part of the body it requires to pump hard and against the gravity so to withstand the great pressure its walls are bit thicker than the rest part of the heart i hope you understood this already we have seen in the in the video but then also if you have any doubt please let me know give the functions of of spleen and tonsils spleen helps in the production of rbc in a newborn child it stores dead rbcs it produces lymphocytes tonsils it acts as a lymphatic organ produces wbc that is lymphocytes and helps in building immunity so these are the questions uh, from the textbook and i hope you understood we'll do the structure structured questions that is figurative questions in the next episode thanks very much and thanks for your patience if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box thank you guys